Wait, well, yeah, guys, Beast, back with some obviously content. So, guess what? So, basically, this here is a Tokyo Ghoul Ray game by Bandy Namki. So, basically, this released, uh, I found this game quite a while ago on the JP version, and I was like, I want the JP release this. You can go check out my playthrough of it when it was on JP, I just played a little bit of it. But yeah, let's get right into this, this is the English release. So yeah, hey, you must be your new recruit. I'm ready to get started. I'm ready. Here, we'll learn the skills needed to survive in this world. It's a brutal place where humans and ghouls constantly risk their lives as part of an ongoing struggle. Just so you know, Tokyo Ghoul is a really, it's one of my favorite animes, so yeah. Let's go. Hmm. What's a ghoul you say? Well, I think it's best if you see for yourself what ghouls are and how this world works. Okay, enough with the small talk. We'll start with a practice battle to see what you're made of. Let's go. Story. This story area is a place created for you to learn about what is taking place in our world. You'll find the answers to your earlier questions as you progress through the story. So take a look after we finish. Tokyo Ghoul. Let's go. Tap 1. 001. Training. Let's go. 001. Well, let's go. This is where you assign allies you'll need to survive out there into a cohesive team. Who will join you? And who will fight by your side? These are vital questions. But you're still new and don't know anyone yet, so I brought a few friends this time. You can practice with them. I do know, though, because I've watched all of the anime so far, and I'm waiting for Ray Season 2 to drop, which is supposed to be next month, and I'm hype. But anyway, now, begin battle. Let's go. So, what a shot. Break. Let's go. So, by the way, these little mini download things are kind of like uh, not downloading all on Dokkan Battle. They don't take too long to load, but yeah. If you download all on the game, and I'll find download all option later, those will load way faster. But it's still not too slow, even now. It's not much to download, but it's enough that if you had download all, it'd be way faster. But, let's go. Full screen one. Done. Go. Loading far. I think if it was just load screening, it wouldn't be anything. So there we go. Session one of two. Let's go. Play turn. Okay, the battle is about to start. Get ready. When you're looking at the screen, the enemies are on the right, and your team is on the left. Let's start with the fundamentals of combat, stay calm, and stick close to me. First, you need to know the basics, tap a character on the screen to carry out an attack. Wacha! Go! Dope! Alright, yes, that's the way to do it. I have a feeling you're going to do just fine, so do I. Your attack just reduced the enemy's HP, check out the HP gay above their head. Okay, pretty simple, like most games. That is the enemy's HP gauge. Did you notice how the enemy's HP decreased after you attacked? No, I didn't. That's crazy. Next, take a look at the HP gauges of the characters on your team. Hmm. They have nice HP. You must reduce the enemy's HP to zero in order to achieve a victory over your opponents in battle. Now I'm going to explain about combos, a fast and easy way to take down foes. Practice makes perfect, so try tapping your characters in a sequence. Boop. 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 Ah, oh, that's cool. Excellent work. That was a magnificent, great combo to behold. In general, you want to stack combos. Doing so will increase your damage, reduce the enemy's weapons durability, and fill your skills gauge. Maybe that was a bit much to take in all at once, but you'll figure it out. Now, make sure to remember what I'm going to tell you about AP. What is just AP? The number is your AP attack points. Your attack points indicates the number of times that you can attack the enemy. Characters with lots of AP can attack more, but each attack is often weaker. Co Conversely, characters without many APs can have stronger single attacks. Try to attack with your remaining AP once your AP reaches zero. It'll be the enemy's turn to strike. Watch closely. Okay. There's two. There's one. There's zero. Watch out. Enemy's turn to attack. I think I already grasped that, uh, playing the JP version just by looking at the numbers without knowing what the heck it was saying, but yeah. Your combo count will keep rising as long as it's your turn, so you can take your time making your next move. What, what does combo count do? That does it for the basis of combat. Create combos and defeat the enemy. It's really that simple. Okay, so let's put together some combos and make short work of the enemy. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Hmm. Advance to the next session. So, I have a feeling you don't have to click on one character over and over to do combos. Uh, and I have a feeling combos will get more crazy and they will show some crazier stuff to do with combos and there'll be some sort of 
type wheel sort of thing. I already see a type wheel at the bottom there. But I have a feeling there's some sort of type thing that will make combos more useful. Maybe people will change types when you attack them a certain amount of times. It could be interesting. Whoa, look, this is a, like our target is here. That means this is the final session. Targets appear at the end of a session. Targets are always powerful opponents, so keep your guard up. Okay. Still, this ghoul looks really strong. Alright, let's use a skill to inflict a bunch of damage at once. So, this is skill gauge. Hey look, it seems like everyone's skill gauges are already maxed out. Wow, I wonder why. Wow, it'd be great to use them right away. Let me explain the basics of using these skills first. There are different kinds of skills, and characters have their own skills. Some attack enemies directly, while others heal allies. Okay. So, you are going to have some healing characters that you're just going to run that will heal your team more than anything else. They're just very interesting. Now, I'll tell you how to use skills. When the skill gauge is full, tap and slide up on the character's icon to give the try for yourself. One on, watch out, go! I won't slip up level one. Five times attack, I was trying to read that. We'll look at the skills later. Great, you successfully used the skill. Whether to weaken foes or strengthen allies, skills give you a needed edge in battle. You can even take down the strongest enemies depending on how you use them. Okay, that does it for the first round of combat basics. Use what you learned to defeat this target on your own. Okay, let's go. We're going to slide up on that boy. Go! Shows your power. Five times defense on the front row. Blah, blah, blah. Six times it inflicts. Okay, it does some damage. That's all I know. He is dead. Ooh, that is a nice... I like that. That looks nice. Down we go. We did some damage. We killed the enemy. It's alright. Alright, so skills seem to be sort of like a super attack, but with passive sort of things, where they either boost your defense or something else. Uh, short dash are very interesting. Also, there's a level system like every other gacha game. Just pretty cool. And, looks like first clear is gonna hand you a... I don't even know what they're calling these. Uh, they're probably... I'm just gonna call them stones for now. I don't know what else to call them. They could be some crazy name. But I'm gonna call them stones because I'm from Dragon and Ball of Dauphin Battle. Ah. So, how was your first battle? Did it go as well as you expected? Next, I'm going to teach you how to fight strategically. Story, okay. Back to story. O1, okay. So it looks like O1 training. Uh, I don't think O1 has to do with the story at all. Tap to begin battle. Uh, by the way, most of the story on here is actually just the anime uh, that they have made into, like, the story of the game. I think later on it will get into some crazier stuff, and events will be, like, completely fresh sort of stories that aren't part of the show, but we will see. So, it could get interesting later on. The base story though is basically just the show's story put into the game. I remember playing through it on the JP, and it's alright, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of like manga-ish, so it could be more like the manga put into the, the game, but in color, so yeah, let's go. It's pretty cool though, and combat's pretty interesting. I have a feeling though. It'll get crazier later on. Story is just something you can grind stones out, I guess, and then also rank and everything. Each character has their own type. On Oh, there we go. Talking about type now. Let's start by looking at these types. Okay. So, this mark indicates the character's type. There are five different types in the total. Oh, look. Five types. Strength, speed, intellect, light, and dark. They each have their own advantages. The type indicate... It's how a character interacts with others. It's a rock, paper, scissors relationship where strength beats speed, speed beats intellect, and intellect beats strength. Okay. Well, there's two of the types. Hmm. Light and dark both inflict and receive double damage in relation to each other. Keep this in mind planning your attacks. Hmm. What's damage? I guess light and dark are just completely different types in general and only cause bonus damage on their own self. So. Quickest path to victory is to check the types of the enemy before battle and then put your team together accordingly. Look at the relationship diagram below. It's always displayed here during combat, so you can refer to it whenever necessary. Uh, now, let's talk about weapon and durability. Like the name suggests, it refers to the durability of a character's weapon. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Yeah, let's definitely do that. This is the weapon durability meter. You can see how much durability the equipped weapon is displayed. Okay, and we have ones right here too. So there's a weapon in shorter side of it. It takes more than regular damage to wear down its durability. Okay. In order to do so, you'll generally need to use skills that damage durability or wear it down with combos. This is important, so keep it in mind. When a weapon's durability reaches zero, the foe's defense will drop to zero, and all other abilities will be nullified, and they will incur more critical hits. Okay. So you'll do harder. You'll do more damage to your enemy, 
And I do believe you'll also uh, lower the defense to zero. Oh, you'll do more damage to the enemy, and I do believe they'll attack less. Did you notice how when you inflict a break status on the enemy, your allies recover all of their AP? Ooh. Break an enemy, recover your AP. They put together combos for big damage. When fighting through opponents, make sure to break them ASAP. So, if you wanted to increase the amount of times you got attacks off, um, go for enemies that are weaker when it comes to break, because then you could add more attacks you can do. I feel like that'll be very useful later on. Alright, now try fighting while keeping characters' types and breaks in mind. Okay. Yeah, like I just said. I just said I was going to do that. What's your job? There we go. Enemy turn. I have a feeling the enemy's gonna break. Okay. So my character's broken now. We'll see what that does on the battle turn in a second. And it's probably gonna tell us what it does. Okay. It's the same when an ally breaks. Their defense will drop up to zero. All their abilities will be nullified, and they will take more critical hits. To remove the break status, you'll need to move them to the back row and spend a turn there. This is also important to make sure you remember it. Okay. We've almost finished your training. Get rid of these guys so we can move on. Okay. So... In order to get rid of break, it looks like you do less damage as well, and any abilities they have are lost. So, it's not letting me move them to the back right now, but I would like to move them to the back to get rid of break status. But we're in tutorial progress right now, so that'll be useful. I guess break sort of like, it's not a stun, but it's like a nullification. It lowers your damage, and yeah, that's probably something very important. I have a feeling they're probably going to let me move to the back now. It's time for your final lesson. Try not to get careless out there. Oh, will do. The last thing I'll explain is how to move between the front and back rows. I know how. I played to JP. I just didn't know what I was doing. Characters who are paired together can switch between the front and back rows during a fight. This is called a switch. Uh, try doing it for yourself. First slide the icon on the indicator in the bottom to change the front. I know. I knew this. I did this on the JP. Okay, there we go. The switch allows characters in the back row to join the battle too, and also gives you more attacks per turn, allowing you for longer combos. Also, if you spend the turn with a character in the back row, they will recover HP and weapon durability. This is a good way to win battles. Okay, so when your weapon durability gets low, you're going to want to switch your characters to the back. Okay, That's going to be useful to know later on. I am most sure of it. I think we've reached the limit of blah blah blah. Okay, you've taught me enough. Rush fight. Swap these two out. Watch, 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 watch. Oh, I think we're in break status now on her. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna shrub these. Oh, we can't because they're locked. Watch it, watch it. Oh, she has her skill active. That's the thing. Let's go! What's her skill do? I have a feeling she could be a healer. Uh, I think that said heal 40%, or 20 or 40%. So I was right, she is a healer. Two more attacks on there. Turns the enemy's attack. Enemy's turn. Okay. So the top gauge is your, I guess, energy charge, and the bottom gauge is your break stats. Ooh, and there we go. Konica gonna finish this off for us because he has his skill active and he'll do quite a bit of damage there. There we go, Konki, go! Well, I mean Sasuke. Because it's showing him as Sasuke right now and not Konki. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Watch out. Oh, I wanted to get her to get something. So. But that's fine. Combat ended. Watch out. Okay, so that's really interesting. That makes a lot more sense actually knowing what you're doing there. But that's pretty cool, yeah. The JP version of that, I was guessing on that, and I was swapping characters front and back, but I had no idea what I was doing. Knowing what you're doing on this, and knowing everything about this game, I have a feeling will make it a lot better. Friend slots, slots increased to 20, user rank increased to 2, okay. So it has the same rank system, sort of as Doken Battle, with character abilities and everything, okay. All conditions met, Kaku Gems, okay. So, they're Kaku Gems, that's the name of it. They're not stones, they're Kaku Gems. I'm gonna call them Gems, because I have a feeling everyone's gonna call them Gems. Like we call Dragon Stones, Stones, Kaku Gems are gonna be Gems. Also, Gems like on every other game, but they call them Gems. But, there's interesting. Good work on your combat training. You're gonna tell me how to summon now, aren't you? Your studies are now complete. As a reward for making it through, I'll introduce you to some new friends. Shaman, like I said. Before I make the introductions, I'd like to say one more thing. How does, does this world seem to you? How does it feel? Also, 
What choices do you plan to make within it? What lies ahead is entirely up to you. I hope you remain positive as you find your way in life. Anyways, good luck. Tutorial showman. Zero Kaku gems in order to do this beautiful showman. Let's do it. Give me my unit. So, I have a feeling it's probably going to be sort of like a guaranteed SSR pool, probably like the three SSRs you can get on Global or on Dokkan Battle, but let's find out. Input password accepted. Who is it going to hand to us? And since the game is pretty new, I have a feeling this character will actually be viable. Tap to search. Give me a unit. As more of a. There we go. Give me my unit. I'm probably getting the one that turned the cool stuff. Oh, is it really a 10 summon for free? Let's see who I got. I have a feeling that rainbow looking one's the best rarity. What rarity is this? This guy is an SR, okay. This guy's probably a R. Yeah, he's an R. Another SR here. Noise! It's Kaneki though. Looking pretty nice too. Watch out. That there. There's a rare as well. Okay, so. Summon system seems more like blazing, but it's still nice. I like it. Okay, let's see who that last one is. Ooh, that guy. That's cool. It's Nishiki. And there's my first SSR. I have a feeling he's sort of like a beginner SSR. Later on in the game, he will be nothing special. But for now, let's check upgrade info and see what that does. Uh, looks like... There's some sort of stat. Okay, durability up A increases max durability by blah blah blah. Increases evasion rate. Okay, so there is evasion and everything else. And what's this mastery? Deal attack. Oh, actually, I'd run if I were you. Level five. Deal attack. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see what this does. Increases damage versus humans by 1.3. Okay, so it looks like when you master them, you increase the amount of damage they can do with their mastery and everything. Very interesting. Also, it says deals attack times 1.1 damage to one enemy eight times and reduces durability by three. So as you increase it, looks like this one can actually attack more as you increase the mastery. And then when you upgrade weapons, you get sort of little boost like looks like attack up, defense up, durability up, and evasion. So I have a feeling you can actually evade enemies just like Dothan in this game. Sure, very interesting. Let's go and see what it tells me to. Congratulations, you have successfully completed the tutorial. Returning to title screen. So, that was the tutorial of the game. I just played through the entire tutorial. I will probably end the video here. And next video, we will just, yeah, check out a bit more of the game. I also have a feeling there's another day to download as we just completed the tutorial. There's probably another download. The tutorial was around 200 megabits of download, I do believe it said. But let's see if this is another day to download before ending the video. Though I do remember there being a second download when I played it on GP. But let's find out. First playthrough that tutorial was alright, but I have a feeling after a while it's gonna get boring. Okay, actually, there's login bonuses. Maybe not a download. J1 login bonus. Okay. Beginner's login bonuses. Game launch commemorative login bonuses. They gave a free Konic game. Wow, I have a feeling he'll actually be a free SSR too. Uh, they gave another free comic. Cool. Some sort of item there. Notifications, so basically news. Okay, we'll read that later. Now loading. Let's see if there's a download for it in the video here. And see what it all is hiding and where everything goes when you log in. I'm pretty sure there's a gift box like Dokkan Battle, so I'll go ahead and claim that. And then I'll end the video here. But it's pretty cool. Also, raids are co-op battles fought with other players. So there's already PvP in this game, and it is PvE style PvP, which is pretty cool. Achievement complete. Okay, so there's missions, it looks like, but they're called achievements. That's pretty interesting. So there's already co-op multiplayer in this game by default, which is really interesting, at least from this little loading screen here. We'll get into that later. I have a feeling that will be very cool. And also, take on the best versus. Does that mean there's like a... Uh, arena sort of thing where you can go challenge other players characters and try and be the hashtag one on arena because if so that'll be really really interesting so let's see though it could just be really strong raid bosses it's probably the second option but we'll see everything when it comes to multiplayer and everything later oh yeah it's gonna ask me to be a human or a ghoul well we already know who i'm gonna go with uh affiliation human can i not choose you will begin the battle on the human force. Ah, oh, it forces you to start human. 
I'm I'm switching the ghoul later. Just know that it's probably gonna give me an option later. Uh, but yeah. So an incident. Blah blah blah. Okay, we're gonna skip that. It looks like when incidents happen. Okay, so it's probably that's cool actually. What is this territory battle that just started up? Sasun, mind explaining it to us? Yes, Sasuke, explain it. Looks like blah blah blah. Territory battle is territory battles are only held for certain periods of time during which ghouls and humans split into teams and try to conquer Tokyo Ghoul for themselves or Tokyo for themselves. Uh, but Sasaki, how exactly do they go about? It? Also, why are they calling him Sasun and not Sasaki? Okay, do they go about doing that? Territory battles are broadly split into four types: dispatches, incidents, strikes, and raids. Okay, each type yields territory points with the team that earns the most points taking control of the world. I see. I see. Okay, then. What exactly do we need to do? First, you'll want to dispatch your team to an available board. Dispatches result in success or failure, and since it takes time to see the results, it's best to just send your peoples out and work on other missions. You can dispatch anyone regardless of whether they are on a team or not, so it's a good to send out everyone you can in order to earn territory points. You can also take on incidents or challenge yourself by participating in strikes and raids. So do your best to survive out there. Okay, cool. Uh, this will start the tutorial. No, we'll do that later. This will skip the tutorial. Yes. No, yes. No, yes. No, yes. No, yes. Ah, I just skipped the tutorial, which is probably a bad thing. I will definitely go through that later. But for now, I just want to claim this real quickly and see what I have in my present box. I have a feeling... Okay, so except all right here. Kinkaki, Haize Sasaki, you received 16. Okay, cool. So, I may go see if there's a redo the tutorial option later, because that's probably going to be important, and I want to actually do that. So, let's see here. Um, actually, we'll just go through and read all these, or I'll go through and read all these so I don't have to actually do the tutorials, because I have a feeling I can read faster than that. But I do suppose that's all. So far, it looks pretty interesting. Uh, but yeah, I am out for now. Thank you so much for watching. This game is relatively hype, but yeah, see ya. Also, I have 57 gems right now, but I'm out. See ya.